Dylan here and welcome to this video. So this is the 17th day of the world event series. Um, I think I got my days mixed up or like something in the last couple of videos. I do apologize for that. I think it's probably because I did two days in one um, the other day. So that might be why my days have been all off. Um, so it is the 17th day, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, anyways, um, Arma's leading by about 7.8 mil and that's a pretty good thing. Although I do believe the lead is slowing down and... You know, that could be a good or bad thing, I don't really know. Um, I think the biggest um, indicator of who's going to win this, the world event, is going to be when the Tier 3 awards come out, and the few days after that. Um, because, that's the thing, like, a lot of people, and I know, uh, I know that a lot of people want to get um, full rewards from both sides, which, I mean, I don't have a problem with that, I don't, I don't really see why people, you shouldn't do that. But, um, I know a lot of people want to do that, and if they do it, um, you know, we'll be seeing a lot of people switch from Armadillo to Bandos and vice versa at the, when the Tier 3 rewards come out, because once those come out, um, people are going to use their Renown to buy all of them, and then they'll switch to Bandos and start getting Renown from Bandos so they can get, uh, the Bandos rewards. Um, so we'll see them switch, and also vice versa, we'll see people probably from Bandos come over to Armadale. Um, although, since Armadale has a lot more people, pretty sure, um, I'm thinking that most likely the, the, um, the number that are that's switching from Arma to Bandos is going to be greater than the people number of people going from Bandos to Armadale. Um, so, I think once those come out, we'll see, and then the few days after that, we'll see if Armadillo is going to be able to upkeep the lead or not, um, so that's going to be kind of a thing, we'll see if that, um, becomes a thing or not. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to that, honestly, I think that'll be really interesting to see, um, I mean, I always, I have my preferences, obviously, I want Armadillo to win, but at the end of the day, you know, it's just a game. Um, it doesn't really, it's not really that big of a deal to me, um, you know, so, but I, of course, I would prefer that Armadale would win, because, uh, I prefer him much to Bandos in terms of lore, um, but anyways, um, I'm almost done with capping, actually, today, I only have, uh, 9.5k left, which isn't too much, so I should easily get this done, and it's only, like, 8.30, so definitely get this finished um before tomorrow because i actually yesterday almost didn't cap um for yesterday's game take because um i didn't finish it last night because i went and played smite instead um and i'll talk about that a little bit later but i went and played smite for a little bit instead and so and then i woke up late and then i had to go get a haircut which i had forgotten about um and so i didn't get home until like two or three or something which is only like an hour or two and i still had over half my renown to finish capping so it's kind of like oh so i actually went over the game tick but i just didn't log out until i was done um so but yeah and so i should easily finish this so i don't have to worry about it tomorrow but yeah so i have um 500 a little bit um a little over 500k total um which is cool, and I have um, 218k renown, so I'm hoping that by the time um, the tier 3 awards come out, that I'll have enough renown saved up to be able to buy all of them off the bat, so I'll be able to use whatever remaining um, days that I have left to get lamps, so I can lamp um, crafting, so, so yeah, I wasn't really on too much yesterday or today, um, I've been basically on capping, that's really what I do on RuneScape lately, is I just like, I get on and cap, and then I uh, get off and do other things, um, mostly, but, let's see, what is this? Got a link, picture link in Skype. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, let's see. I'm only 600, or 167k from 89 construction, and so I should be getting that within the next two or three days. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably get that early on, um, Monday or late on Sunday. Most likely, I'm not entirely positive. Um, so. Uh, let's see. But yeah, um, I should be, I will definitely be getting 90 construction from this. Um, 
mostly because a lot of the stuff like when i when i um calculated it back a few like about a week or two ago um i was only calculating the experience that i got flat at that level but as you level up you're going to be getting more experience as you level up um so i didn't factor that in and then i also didn't factor in um using the construction outfit because i had forgotten about it until i saw someone wearing it and so i hadn't factored it in so i'm actually getting about 23 ish um xp per 10 renown instead of the uh 21 that i was calculating so it's not that much like per whatever but at the end after everything's all said and done that extra experience is definitely going to be nice so i should be getting about 91 92 construction from this probably 91 maybe halfway to 92 something like that i'm not entirely sure obviously but we'll see um but definitely if you guys haven't already taken the hints um from all my videos definitely take advantage of capping definitely take advantage of it because it does help a lot it does not take that long I mean, even if you're only going to do it in PvP, which, and if you do it in PvP, it's only going to take about mm, an hour, 40, like 45 minutes to an hour to cap. Like, I do it in non-PvP to get more experience, but um, it's extremely slow. If you do it in PvP, it's a lot faster. Um, so it's only about 45 minutes to an hour if you do it in um, PvP. Then plus, if you even if you don't care about like the rewards per god, like you can still get experience lamps um, with your renown. Um, you can get, I think, a huge one and a small one per day uh, if you cap every day. So definitely take advantage of it because extra experience for, basically experience for free. Like, you're getting free construction experience and it's very AFK. Like, there's no really paying attention. You're getting it for free. And then at, at, after you're all done with that, you get to go and buy some experience lamps that you can put into any skill that you want. So it definitely is going to help um basically anyone really so i don't see why you wouldn't do this unless like you're just too lazy to do it but i don't understand why you would be because you get like crap tons of experience like you get crap tons of experience for really afk stuff so definitely take advantage of it if you haven't already um anyways um Anyways, yeah, so I went and played Smite last night. It was really funny. So I haven't played Smite for, like, a couple days because I've been doing some other things. I just haven't gotten on. Um, so I went and played last night. I did okay for some of my r matches, but then just a couple of them, I, d I totally just, like, failed. And, like, I was playing a god. His name is Fenrir. Um, he's basically, like, a champion in League of Legends if you guys play League. I don't really expect you guys to exactly know what I'm talking about because I don't think that most of my viewers play Smite. Uh, but I'll try to explain best I can. Um, so Fenrir, he's an assassin, so he's an extremely squishy god, but he does really, really high damage. Um, but I'm really not good at, um, melee characters because, or, I'm okay at melee characters, but it depends on what type. Like, if I'm playing a tank, obviously they're, m tanks are pretty much all melee characters. Um, I think. Yeah, pretty much all the tanks are melee characters, but I'm fine with that because you have a very high HP pool, so you can afford to get in and get close. Um, with Fenrir, he's a melee character, and he's also very squishy, so you can't really just go in because that, he's classed as, as an assassin, and there's only, like, one assassin that I can play successfully, and that's Loki, and he's a really scum god because basically he can go invisible, um, uh, basically melt through someone and then get out, um... And my team, we didn't really have a tank, we, like, there there was no tanks on the team, so there, we didn't really have very good initiation, and since I'm not that good at playing Fenrir, um, it was really hard for me, and I made some really bad, <laughs> really bad choices, we ended up surrendering that match, because I was so bad. My team got kind of mad at me, but, you know, whatever. But I had a really good match, though, where I was playing an arena match, and I was playing an Ares, who was a tank. And I had Zeus and Hoonbots on my team, which was just, like, literally amazing. It was, like, one of the best things ever. Um, because the thing, what, like, I'll try and explain this. Uh, what Ares does is, um, when he activates his ultimate attack, um, which is his four, for, like, people who play League, it's, like, Q, W, E, and R, or something like that, I think. Um, like, I activated his ult. And what happens is in the area of effect, which is fairly large, um, you chain everybody, um, you become CC immune, and after it's charged up, you pull everyone um, who's chained in together, and it stuns them for, I don't know how long, I think like 0.5 or like maybe one second or something like that. And so if you have purification beads, which basically negates um, CC, Ares is garbage. Like, he's a useless god if, if everyone builds beads. 
everyone on that team built beads, but I in but to counter that, I did I built full cooldown reduction. So um, I could have every like if I ulted everybody, they pop their beads. But then the next time my ult was up, um, the beads wouldn't be up, so I could um successfully pull everybody that time. So that's what I did, and um. Since I was with the Hoonbots and Azus, their ultimates are very high damage and it's AoE. So basically, they could just drop their ultimates um, after I had pulled everyone in and stunned them. And basically, like, KO everyone. It was really funny. I got, like, 20, 25 assists and 4 kills and, like, 2 deaths or something like that. Which, as a tank, is really good. What I hate people in MOBAs, really, that, like always blame the tank for the loss um because they're they're like oh dude you were feeding but i if you if you're as a tank you go like m like if you were to go like two eight and like 30 as a tank that is considered good even though you're going negative kdr you have really good assists and if you've been feeding if you've been um feeding your team kills basically um you've done your job like your damage your um your um job as a tank is to mitigate damage um and feed your AD carries and your mages and your assassin. Like, feed the rest of your team kills, basically. That's the point of an of a tank. A lot of people don't understand that. Like, if you go negative KDR, they, like, bash all over you, which is really irritating to me. But, you know, whatever. Some people just don't understand. Um. Oh, well. So, anyways, there's my little mini rant about MOBAs done. Um. So. But, yeah. I definitely would recommend Smite to anyone who enjoys playing MOBAs. Smite is a really fun MOBA. And even if you're not into MOBAs, you might be into Smite. Because, like, I'm not into MOBAs. I'm not into Dota and League of Legends. Mostly because I don't like their playstyle, that's all. Um, I'm not really big fan of the point-to-click thing. And I'm not really big fan of the top-down view. Um, I just... I can't really get into those kinds of games. They're really irritating for me to play. I don't really like them. I've tried League. I've never tried Dota. But I know it's really similar to League. And I didn't like League. Um, but then I tried Smite. And Smite is kind of a cross between League and World of Warcraft PvP, um, because it's similar to League, obviously, because it's a MOBA, same game style, it's very similar, like, playstyle, but, um, with, um, Smite, it's a third-person view, and everything is basically skill shots, um, there's no, like, in, Le in League, where, like, you click on a minion, and it automatically does auto-attacks, like, it's everything in, um, Smite is based on, um, skill shots, which... Is actually, I prefer, honestly, I prefer that, um, so Smite's really fun, I really enjoy it, it's, like, one of my favorite games, um, and it's really not too heavy on the computer, uh, it can be, depending on what graphics settings you're using, but if you're using, if you're on min graphics, even my computer can handle it, and my computer's pretty crappy, so, like, if you have even just kind of an average computer, you could definitely run Smite at least on minimum graphics, or, um, medium, at the very least, so. Definitely worth a try if you guys are looking for a new game. It's very fun. Um, I'm trying to think what other games that I played lately. Minecraft a little bit. I don't do too much though. Um, I tr I played. I was playing Ion for a little bit, and then I stopped um, just because it wasn't really that fun. After a while. Um, let's see. I'm, like, at this point of War of the Immortals that it's kind of really boring for me to play, so I don't really play that anymore. Um, I don't really have any other games on my computer, I don't think. I don't really play too much. I play basically Smite, and I play RuneScape, and then everything else is just, like, usually, like, YouTube. I watch Twitch streams. Um, I do graphic design. You know, I do a lot of stuff on, like, various forums across the net and that kind of stuff, but I don't really do, like, too much gaming actually it's kind of interesting i don't really do all that much gaming um anyways um i think that's where i'm gonna end off today guys i don't really have a lot to talk about i kind of ranted on about smite a little bit and talked about some kind of stuff but anyways um i think i'm gonna head go ahead and get off um We'll see where Armadale stands tomorrow, you know. I'm hoping that the Tier 3 rewards are going to come out fairly soon. Um, because by now people are starting to get Dragon Tokens. So they'll be able to buy them. Um, because I'm assuming that at least the, um, probably the armor and the ability is going to require Rune and Dragon Tokens. And people should start to be getting those now. Because I've been capping every day and I have the Dragon Token. I got it, I think, like the other day. 
like either yesterday or the day before. So people should be getting those soon. So hopefully the tier three rewards will be released soon. Um, I don't know if they've actually announced that when that's going to be. I'm not entirely positive. I've really looked it looked into it. Um, so, but anyways, um, I think that's where I'm going to end off. So guys, you know, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.